Hey guys, so this morning I'm making some banana nut cornbread. Um, it's pretty easy. This is my first time using walnuts, but I mean, it's just the same recipe that I always have, only I'm using walnuts. So I just did a little bag of walnuts and I kind of like crushed them up a little bit. Then I did one and a half banana with milk in here. I have an egg and then I have my cornbread mix. And currently the stove is preheating to like 350. I made, I think I'm gonna, let me see, what does it say? Oh, 400, so I'm gonna have to do it to 400. Anyway, I'm just making myself some chicken and banana nut cornbread, so I'm gonna just crack. Can I crack it with one hand? Let's see. It's been a while. Oh, yeah, I can still do it. <laughs> my ashy hands, as usual, oh my gosh. So I put the egg and the banana stuff in there. Oops. And I did hair last night, so, but I did wipe off the corners, obviously. And I put the banana mix in there. I didn't put, okay, that's gonna go in. I didn't, I didn't put too much banana mix in there because sometimes that can make it a little bit too thick and it'll come out like spongy. So I think that's good enough right there. But I may have to add a little bit of milk to like water it down a little bit, but yeah. Now I'm just gonna add in that and we're done. Um, I like, sometimes I'll add cinnamon, but I'm not trying to make it too much of like a cake-like consistency. Like I really want it to be more of like a cornbread, like, but just that just has like a little like something, something added to it. I freaking love cornbread. I eat so much of it, like. <laughs> It's ridiculous how much cornbread I eat. I just love it. It's so delicious. I actually have some banana cornbread that I made the other day, but the bananas weren't ripe enough, so you can't even really taste it in there. I was really disappointed. So that's why I'm making myself some more. I just like the sweetness with the chicken. Hey guys, another day, another hair mask. Um, I just washed my hair like viciously with apple cider vinegar, baking soda, and shampoo. I literally washed my hair like three or four times because you guys know I have that thing in my hair where like my hair, it gets so like flaky. It's not even dandruff. It's like literal like the tiniest bit of flakes in my hair after because of what happened to me in January when I had that bad reaction to a perm. So yeah, I had to wash my hair like four or five times and then my hair was burning because of the baking soda and the apple cider vinegar like mixing together and my hair is like whew, it feels like somebody put a big old mint like mint thing on my head i don't know but yeah i'm excited because i'm getting ready oh okay but yeah anyway i'm checking the mail because i need to see if some things got here i haven't been getting any mail lately really because of the storm in houston I had a package from Amazon that was supposed to come last week. Well, it was supposed to come on Tuesday, but they sent me an email telling me that it's gonna be a delayed shipping because of the storm and everything. So yeah, then I have some checks coming, but I doubt that they're even gonna be here because of the storm. So anyway, I'm checking them out just to see. I, I, I went and I had transferred money to my bank account because some weird stuff is going on with my Chase account. So I put everything in different accounts and now I'm like, fuck, I need actual cash. So, cause I want to go do something later on today, but she wants cash. So, um, and she doesn't take credit card. So, Everything is on, like, I have something in my savings account. That savings account doesn't have a debit card. I have some, I put money in. Like, I paid off one of my credit cards, but she doesn't take credit. So, um, and then I only have a little bit in my regular Chase because they may be closing my Chase account. I'm not sure. And it's just a hot-ass mess with uh, my bank uh, part right now. So now I don't have like actual physical cash. So <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I see Amazon has delivered some packages. So hopefully mine is um, delivered because 
I see everybody else's Amazon packages and I ordered this like last month, so let's see. Okay, still no package. All I got was something from Progressive. I think it's just telling me that my um that my case is over or whatever. They've closed my case or something. I don't know. <sighs> With my car because I never went in to go get my foot looked at. So that could probably be it. They didn't even give me enough money to really go see a doctor anyway, so whatever. They gave me like twenty five hundred. That twenty five hundred was probably just gonna pay for like the doctor visit. It would not pay for like all the work that I needed to do, done on my hand. And it wasn't even a related injury to the wreck. So yeah. Anyway, I can only keep on my conditioning, like my hair conditioning wraps or whatever. I can't keep them on longer than seven minutes. So I have to go rinse them off. I have to go rinse this stuff out of my hair as soon as I get home. But you know what? It doesn't. I've noticed that whether I keep these hair masks on for five minutes or forty minutes, I don't see a huge difference in my hair. Like, so I'm just gonna go rinse this off. I'm not even gonna keep it on long because the conditioner clogs my hair pores and then it makes my hair like overreact. <laughs> At least that's what my dermatologist told me. Um, that's why I have I start to get those sores because. And then I start leaking pus out of my scalp because of the conditioner clogging the pores or whatever. Okay, I'm about to head up to the house now. Hey guys, it, I have no idea how I look because it's, I don't know what's going on with my phone, but my phone is like really dark. Anyway, I'm walking over to get my hair done. It's a little bit of a weird walk because of the bus, but I didn't really want to risk it because all my buses were running so late today that like I probably would have been an extra 30 minutes trying to get here if I would have not just walked so anyway my appointment's at 4 30 it looks like I'm not going to get there until about 4 36 it's 4 32 right now so I have a few more minutes of walking um yeah so I'm getting a sew in today so I'm getting my sew in right now <laughs> Kids are probably the closest to her, mm. and the most, the, like, mo when I said I'm like the most like her, but I just, I just, I guess it's because the bright men of our time they ain't the same. No, 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 they're too sensitive. Oh, they lord, look, they sure do, yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Look at all these nails, yes. Oh, I can't, mm -hmm. I can't do this. I can't do this. Uh -uh. mm -hmm. When you raised with seven boys, it's like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, you're not acting right now, sir. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hey guys, I just got my hair done. Look at the top of my hair though. Uh, I have my clip-ins, so she did exactly what I wanted. I just wanted her to kind of like, I guess straighten it out a little bit. She was kind of being like in a hurry because her husband got there and her kids, and so she was like ready to be done. Anyway, I have my scarf with me, so I'm gonna put my scarf on my head. I'm waiting for the bus right now. So yeah, it's long. It's like, 24 inches the bus was supposed to be here like I don't know a few minutes ago so I don't even know it's like there's like literally no traffic I don't understand why it would be late at this point but whatever like I'm gonna give it a few more minutes and I'm probably gonna call a lift but hopefully not I don't know the girl was like, oh, if it gets too dark, I'll, um, I can take you. And, like, it's not showing up, but it's much darker than it is in the camera. But I was, but I knew that she wasn't gonna. She was gonna find any reason not to. Which is no big deal. I wasn't expecting her anyway. I had already, like, you know, figured out the whole bus situation. So, hopefully the bus comes in the next few minutes. We'll see. All these Austin buses suck. They're always late. Oh, my gosh. Hey, guys. I just wanted to show you my sew-in. How I got it done and everything it's it's cool like it's just kind of like I don't know it's it, it's it's cool for what I paid for like she had a school special going on and I literally just wanted it to be installed 
But like, hold on, that light is like bothering me. Okay, you guys can see it better here. Like, it's just kind of like, I don't know, the way that she flips hers, I don't flip mine like this for my sew-ins. Like, when I flip mine, it's flat. Like, but here it's kind of like sticking up. I don't, mine does not stick up whenever I do a sew-in, but everyone is different and I'm okay with it. This is just my leave out. My leave out is really short, so. I really just didn't feel the need to be showing y'all all that. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, I'm just happy to be finally getting my hair done. I hate going to the hair salon because they have more than one person, and she had more than one person. That kind of just pissed me off because I was like, fuck, you know, I rushed here on the bus walking, sweating my ass off just for you to already have somebody in the chair and then do half my head, rinse hers, then blow hers out, then finish... You know, no, she cornrowed half of it, then she cornrowed the other, and then she went and she took an hour to braid her hair, and then she came back to mine. Like, I hate that hairstylists do that shit. Like, what the fuck is wrong with people? Like, just finish one person and then start the next one. Like, I told her I was on the bus. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then I even was going to take a lift to her home. Like, she knew I was, like, serious about getting my hair done. And then, like, she was kind of, like, freaking out. Like, she was, like, really worried about me not paying her when I got there. And I'm like, girl, I'm going to pay you. Like, she was like, anyway, she, it was just weird because she wanted me to pay her through the cash app. But then when I got there, she's like, oh, you know, I prefer cash. And I'm like, well, I would have loved to have given you cash. But she told me that she wanted to pay through the cash app. So I'm just happy to have my hair finally installed. Like, you guys don't understand how easy it's going to be for me to just deal with this shit now. Like... Now I can just pop my clip-ins in my hair and have my hair done. Like, if I want to go out with my girlfriends, I don't have to worry about how it looks in the back and all that. Like, I can just go out and just do whatever I want. Party. Do whatever the fuck I want. Like, the hair is like a... I put yakky on the top and the bottom. And then I put straight hair in the middle. So, kudos to me. I'm going to take me a shower. I'm going to go make me my favorite soda. And then I'm going to sit down butt naked. I have two things to do tomorrow. I was going to rent a car this weekend, but the rental rates were way too high. It was like $60 per day to rent a car. Um, I typically like to just do the the weekend rate, but because it's a, a holiday, um, they're making me do that. So, yeah, I'm just really, really freaking tired. Oh, sorry, guys. Like, look at my saggy titty. Like, look at that. <laughs> My tits are so saggy. I was just talking about Snapchat how I wanted to like get breast implants, and people were like, "What? No!" I'm like, "No, I am a thirty a thirty four F for like no reason. They're useless. Why? Because they're saggy as fuck. <laughs> they're just, like so saggy. But they look like they have volume when I'm like this. But no, they're like droopy. Whatever. I hate my. I hate the way they look. <laughs> oh my gosh! I wish I could show you guys, but I won't. I'll save that for another vlog. Anyway, guys, my hair is finally done. It's tight. The I just, uh, and I don't like, like, I had to ask her to add a little bit of hair at the front because she was just, like, sewing my already thin hair. And she's like, oh, you know, it's kind of thin at the front, so I didn't want to add hair. And I'm like, well, you have all that weight on a skinny-ass braid. So, and she's like, well, I've been doing... And I wasn't even rude about it. I was like, yeah, I said, can you add some hair to the front? That's what I said, right? And she's like, you know, I've been doing hair for, like, 15 years. I got my license, like, and I'm like, okay, when I was 16 years old, I'm 32 right now. And I'm like, okay, good for you. You know, I had to keep reiterating that I do hair for a living also. But she probably just doesn't take my hair doing that serious because she just thinks she's that great. You know, anyway, I'm over here talking shit, but that's just how I talk, y'all. Um, anyway, like I said, I'm happy with it. I have no plans of putting my hair up in a ponytail, so I'm really happy with it. Next time, maybe um, I, won't, I won't put so much hair out because I like the way that she did that, like, in the front like that. Like, I like that, so... I may just come back to this girl and not have any hair out. But it was my first time. I don't know how she's going to do hair. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm about, it's a good night. I'm going to bed. I was supposed to be getting my nails done tomorrow. But the girl who finally had an opening. This girl never has a freaking opening. This girl, I think her name is... What is her name? Her name is like Nala Nails or something. She's on Riverside. But uh, she's always booked up, right? So, she, I, I texted her yesterday and I was like, 
hey, do you have any openings for September? She said, yeah, I have one September the 2nd. She texted me back today. I texted her back, and I was like, wait, do you have anything for Sunday? And then I was like, you know what? Forget it. I'll take the 10 a.m. one. So um, she never texted me back, and I was like early this morning, literally three minutes after she texted me. Then she wrote on Instagram, hey, I have a 10 a.m. tomorrow. So... Yeah, and so I was like, well, I just, I already texted this girl back, and I told her that I would take it, so I guess she didn't, maybe, and then I, she took it down, like, hours later, so I guess that appointment's for somebody else, it would be great if she could confirm with me, I, I think somebody else took it, but I would love to get my nails done tomorrow, um, that would just be, like, the icing on the cake, like, you know, and then I could, then tomorrow, if she does good, Right then and there, I will just book my next appointment for, you know, three weeks later if possible. So I can just get this crap done and just get to looking decent again. So, yeah, I don't know. My nails, see how long my nails are? They're long enough to, like, put just, like, gel on it. I feel like I don't really need extensions, but, you know, because all she's going to do is cut them down. And I don't mind waiting for them to grow out a little bit more. Like, honestly, like a month, another, like, month and a half, and they'll all be really long. Especially because I they've all been breaking, so they're actually supposed to be much longer than this, but I had to cut them all down while I was in the study. Then when I got out of the study, so yeah. Okay, now I'm just blabbing. All right, love you guys. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.